So this video is going to explain why the autocomplete in Visual Studio 2019 is broken. In Visual Studio 2017 it's much nicer. Right now I'm in Visual Studio 2017 and let's go ahead and show an example of how the autocomplete works. Let's say I want to do a console.write line. Right now after a couple of letters you can see that it's picking the right thing to do. I can hit tab or I can hit space to autocomplete. Now if I want to do a right line, I simply type the first letter, it dials in and I can hit spacebar and now I can type some text. Now I'm going to go to the next line. Let's do a console read line. After the first C, I can hit spacebar to complete. I can hit dot and I can hit R. E A D L space and everything is perfect. I was able to use the spacebar to autocomplete. It was pretty simple. Now I'm going to switch over to Visual Studio 2019 in this same project and show you the differences that I hope will be changed to work like Visual Studio 2017. Hello and welcome back. We're now in Visual Studio 2019. You can see by this menu at the top, Visual Studio 2019. I'm going to do basically what I did before and we'll see the differences. So now I'm going to type C. Number one, it was slower, but number two, I'm uh, nowhere near the console yet. It's only until I get to the third letter does it realize that I want to be doing console, but I can't hit spacebar to autocomplete that. It doesn't work. Let's see if I can bring it up. So that's another problem that autocomplete sometimes doesn't come up. Now I want to autocomplete with tab. That does work, but it forces me to move that pinky over, which is kind of a pain. My thumb is just always right near that space bar. It makes it super easy. Now we're going to see how, what the right line looks like. We're not quite there yet. Still not there. I can arrow down and do it. That was kind of annoying. Now I can't do the space bar there. This, the tab worked, but if I do space bar right here, it doesn't autocomplete. Visual Studio 2017, not only would spacebar work, but this would already be highlighted. I think that may be the crux of the issue, is that the autocomplete doesn't auto-highlight that first entry. I think that it should, just like Visual Studio 2017. That'll let us do spacebar to do our right line. Same with the read line. Can't hit that spacebar, which is very annoying, but it seems like this box here that's not filled in is kind of pointless. I mean, why not? Why not just fill that in like that instead of having to do the arrow key? So it makes doesn't make any sense not to auto highlight that first entry so that it's that instead of that. So that's the crux of the issue. I think that's why autocomplete in Visual Studio 2019 is harder to use, at least for me. I think a lot of other people I've talked to have similar complaints. I hope you'll consider uh, making the autocomplete faster, smarter, and basically work like Visual Studio 2017, to be quite honest. I appreciate your time watching this video, and uh, thanks.